Hey guys, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and today I'm going to be showing you an Aerosmith tune called Sweet Emotion. In this video we'll be learning the chorus from the rookie level arrangement and that section sounds a little something like this. One, two, set, go. That's the section that we're going to be learning today. I'll break down the right hand for you, the left hand roots, and then we'll talk about putting the hands together. But first, let me tell you about the free trial we're offering right now for the Playground app. This video only covers one song section at one difficulty level, but the Playground app has all song parts in all difficulty levels with interactive notation. For a limited time, we're offering a free trial for 30 days, you can try the app, no strings attached. So click the link in this video's description or tap that card above to sign up and start playing today for free in the app. But for now, let's get started on this section in this video. Let's start with the right hand first. Let's start by talking about the key signature and the time signature before we start looking at notes. The key signature says one sharp, and that's an F sharp. That tells us we're in the key of G. The time signature is 4-2. Now remember, this is the rookie level arrangement, the beginner level. And often for these beginner level arrangements, what we'll do is simplify the time signature by stretching all of the rhythms out for double the length. All right, so normally this would be in 4-4, four, four, and it would be just four beats per measure, just like normal. But here, what we're doing is actually a 4-2, so that all of our rhythms are doubled. You don't have to worry too much about what that means. I just want you to be aware that the time signature is 4-2, but when that scroll bar starts going by on these notes, you won't have to count as much. Just rely on following that scroll bar. It's one of the beautiful things and one of the most helpful tools about the app. All right, now let's talk notes and hand positions. We're going to start with our fifth finger on a D, an octave above middle C. We're going to hold that for a few measures. I see a couple of whole notes tied to some more whole notes. Finally, in the fourth measure, our third finger plays a B. Just a quarter note though, it's a quick one. And then our fourth finger plays C. After we tie that over, our thumb's going to play G. And that completes the first half of this section. It's D, B, C, G. And you can sing along with that as well if you like. Sweet emotion. Now, second half, exactly the same, guys. It's great news. It's a long D, short B, and we have C and G to end it. The only difference, of course, is we've got a quarter rest at the very end of the final measure. But the notes, the rhythms, everything else are the same. And that's all there is to it, you guys. So that's the right hand part. We've talked about the hand position, the notes, and a bit about the rhythms, but now we're really going to have a chance to practice those rhythms a little more accurately because I'm going to bring in the band. We're going to play this along with the backing track, and we'll start with the slower tempo version, and then once you are feeling comfortable with that, we'll speed it up to full tempo. So let's start with medium tempo now. One, two, set, go. Keep holding. Here comes B. G. Look ahead while you're holding. Another D. Same thing now. Rest. All right, there it is at the medium tempo. Rewind and play back as needed. But when you're ready, let's try it now at full tempo. One, two, set. Go. Way to go, you guys. There's the right hand part. 
Now it's time to switch gears and start talking about the left. And as you'll notice, the left hand part for this section at this difficulty level is pretty easy. It actually doesn't get much easier than this. So let's go ahead and break it down, then we'll play it along with the backing track, then we'll do hands together. Here we go. The left hand just plays one note this whole section, and that's a low G. We're going to do that with our low fifth finger. And as you notice, we have a whole note tied to a whole note. But then we play it again in the next measure. And in fact, that's all we do. We just play G's and we have a whole note tied to a whole note. So that's it. I think we can go ahead and try this at the full tempo since it's just one note that we're playing. So when you're ready, let's give it a shot at full tempo. Here we go. One, two, set, go. I told you there wasn't much to that left hand part, just a couple of low G's and that's it. So now comes the final stretch of this video, we're going to talk about putting these hands together. Let's do that now. The key to putting this together with both hands is actually going to be to put the majority of your attention on the right hand. That's because the left hand is just doing one note for long rhythms. So we're going to get the left hand ready, we're going to just play one of those notes to make sure we're in the right spot, and we are. Then we're going to get the right hand up here. And since the right hand has more notes and more rhythms, we're going to spend most of our energy on the right hand. However, it's still important that your left hand is ready to play those new G's, especially, for example, in measure three, when the right hand is holding, the left hand plays an additional G down there. Otherwise, you can put the left hand on autopilot while the right hand does its thing. So let's go through at a medium tempo first, and then we'll wrap this up by doing it at full tempo. Here we go. One, two, set, go. Left hand again. Now both. Both again. Look ahead. What's next? Same as the beginning. Left. Now a quick right hand B again. Then together. Alright guys, we're super close to being done, all we have to do is speed this up. But let me remind you that when we're done with this video and you want to learn the rest of this song, or if you want to learn it in a more difficult, more challenging version, like the intermediate or advanced level arrangement, you got to head to the Playground Sessions app. And right now we're doing a free trial, where you can try the app for 30 full days, just like a paid member gets, and you can cancel any time. You also get three free song credits just for signing up as a bonus. Remember, we're saying thank you to you YouTube viewers and fans out there. So you've got to take advantage of this free trial, and you can do so by clicking the link in this video's description or by tapping that card above. So, once you've done that, you're in the app for 30 days, you can play for free. But for now, we've got to wrap up this video. So let's do it. Let's put these hands together full speed for Aerosmith's Sweet Emotion. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. That's it. Way to go, you guys. Great job. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.